guys, we are going to finish up our week of nature and trees and read about somebody who loves to be in trees. A squirrel. Now we have squirrels all over Mobile and they are often in trees and on the ground and we feed them and they get in our uh, bird feeders and all sorts of things. But this is about a squirrel that lives in New York where they don't have as many trees as we do. In fact, they have very few trees. And this is a squirrel that loves art and he gets into a little bit of trouble sometimes by making his art. The squirrel is McCumber by John Lithgow. Isn't he cute? He's very fancy. One Sunday in springtime, McCumber arose from his Central Park carousel nest. He straightened his whiskers and polished his nose and set off for the place he loved best. He scampered past pigeons and poodles and geese, past boathouse and bandshell and zoo, past joggers and skaters and mounted police to a place on Fifth Avenue. For inside was a splendor collection of art a sight for a squirrel to treasure. A feast every week for his eyes and his heart, which McCumber would savor at leisure. Through the windows he'd gaze at Van Dyke and Van Gogh, appraise every Rembrandt and Titan. He would scrutinize Rubens, peruse Rousseau's, inspect each Lautrec, Cassette, and Moreau, and would find a new favorite each time he would go, and nobody charged him admission. A stranger appeared this particular day as McCumber peered down through a skylight. She stood at an easel beneath a Monet that depicted a haystack at twilight. McCumber observed her for hours on end as she copied each texture and shade. He noted the stroke of each brush she'd extend, the rare concentration she'd care she'd extend. She'd become his unwitting and unknowing friend by the time the day started to fade. So he hid in the box where her paint were all stowed while she biked home unawares. Then he sneaked himself into her modest abode as she hauled her equipment upstairs. From the box after midnight, the stowaway crept, stretched his limbs and adjusted his eyes. And while the Gulliver contemptuously slept, he rifled through all her supplies. McCumber's dull life with his tedious tolls all at once seemed a hundred times duller. As he straddled a pallet and squeezed out some oils and discovered the wonders of color. <gasps> he dulled at the canvas with crimberline green, employed his tail as a brush, then magenta, beryllium, aquamarine, azillion, crimson, and bright tangerine. Such a Rembrandt, such a Rembrandt rainbow he never had seen. So splashy and lavish and lush. By morning, McCumber was finally done, and so proud that he practically fainted. He'd been looking at paintings from day number one, but never a painting he painted. <laughs> as the sunlight poured in, he was ready to go, leaving everything just as he found it. Though he tramped some, he cramped he scrambled his canvas in tow, rolled up with his shoelace tied round it. So he took her shoelace and see him going through the window with his picture and her shoelace around it. A truck tumbled by as McCumbered a lift. On the side of it, it said park sanitation. He bound aboard it, ignoring the grit and completely 
completed his pilgrimization. He returned 30 times by the following fall, and the paintings poured forth like a geyser. He fashioned them all to his living room wall, and the woman was never the wiser. So, if some July you should chance to pass by a Virilium Central Park Dale, look around for a squirrel with a gleam in his eye and some paint on the end of his tail. And if you should visit the old carousel, look up in its uppermost part. Inside, although no one ever could tell, a talented squirrel continues to dwell. If you try, you can picture it, clear as a bell. McCumber's Museum of Art. And he has pictures. He has one that looks almost like a Van Gogh, one that looks like a Jackson Pollock. This one looks almost like a Monet. So just different pictures and different styles. All his little friends are coming to see. He's got a hedgehog and some pigeons, a grasshopper. A rabbit, a bat, a cockroach. I don't know if I'd want a cockroach coming to visit my museum. Probably not. But all his friends. Very cool. I wonder if our squirrels are that talented. Are you that talented? I bet you could draw a wonderful picture. Try it sometime. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.